everybody, this is Dave with Patriot Laser Engraving. Today is a review of the Elsra Smart Programmable USB Numeric Keypad. This is the new edition, and it is the PK2068 model. I think you're really going to like it. It certainly liberates the EasyCAD experience. Makes it a little bit easier to kind of handle. I could be looking into the enclosure, holding the keypad. I can start and stop the light trace, move things around without having to have the keyboard in the way that kind of thing. It's really nice. Um, I'm able to really kind of speed up the process a little bit. Uh, plus I just like having the ability to have one button start stop without having the function keys on the keyboard getting in the way or I, I have a wireless keyboard so I move that out of the way when I'm working so I don't accidentally hit anything. So I really do like the the keyboard for what it does, the keypad for what it does. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to hop over to their website. They provide the link on the actual packaging. So we're just going to go ahead and head on over there really quick. Next thing you want to do is download the driver. This is the PK2068 model. I've gone ahead and downloaded the file to my desktop. I'm going to open this up. It comes with a user's manual in the distribution files, which I thought was really nice. User manual is pretty straightforward. It does explain everything that the keypad will do. Uh, it also does come with a print version of this manual when you purchase it. Uh, I found it rel relatively straightforward and easy to program. First thing you want to do is you want to run the MSI program. It's going to pop up if you have Windows security enabled like I do. It's going to say, hey, I don't recognize this application. Just hit more info if you do get that and select run anyway. You'll be presented with the installation wizard. I just hit next. It's going to pull the default user that I'm on. I just install it for anybody using the PC. I'm the only one in the shop. Next, next, and next. It'll install and it is complete. Once it's complete it will place an icon on your desktop. I have two monitors so I'm going to drag this over here to this monitor so you can see it. It puts a PK2068 shortcut to an application on your desktop. I have the keypad plugged into my USB port when I run this it'll actually come up with a overlay of what the keypad really looks like. There's a mode uh, a mode 0 and a mode 1. I'll explain those in just a minute. The keypad has a mode button at the top. It's green uh, by default and if you push the mode button it'll turn uh, red which means you could program all of these other keys except for the enter key. So in mode 0 you can program these keys at the top, the four function keys, and if I hit the mode one button, then I can program all of these other keys. I just can't program the enter key. You'll see that it won't let you. So once the keyboard, keypad is plugged in, I'm just going to make this particular button my stop button or my escape button. All I'm going to do is hit, this is the button I would press in EasyCAD. I would hit escape and I would hit program. Now that button has been programmed as the escape button. This next one I'm going to program as the is the light button program. The next button I'm going to make this the parameter button program. And then this button over here will be the burn button which is F2 which I don't like them that close together. And I hit program. These buttons are now programmed where they need to be. So I have stop, light, parameter, and burn. And that's really all you need to do to program these keys. If you wanted to, you could switch to mode one and program a litany of other keys. If I wanted the uh, the double zero button, let's say, I could I can even do a string of text. I can even make that uh, you know the email address for the organization. I can just hit these buttons and pre-fill forms if I wanted to. Whatever I want to do. So that's really it on programming it. Once you hit the program button, it is actually stored into the keypad and you do not need to worry about unplugging or plugging the keypad back in and reprogramming it. So if I unplug this keypad and take it to a new computer and plug it in, it's still going to be pre-programmed with those macros that I've put into the programming in the in the programming module. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up EasyCAD really fast uh, just so you can see how how it would function and we'll go ahead and get started doing that.
and I have EasyCAD downloaded here and arm opened up. I'm just going to create a simple little box. And by the way, the keycaps, the caps for the keypad are 12 millimeters in size. So if you wanted to make a 12 millimeter box right here, you could do that and then place whatever text you wanted to put on the inside, you know, escape, whatever the whatever the text is that you want to put inside that box, you could do that. And oops, wrong hatch. <laughs> but anyway, you get the point. You could essentially print your own caps, uh, inserts under the caps on uh, maybe some of the aluminum business card stock and then just select this part and cut it out uh, and then you'll have custom program caps. I'll show you a picture of the ones that I did uh, for mine. Uh, but nonetheless, I do have the keypad plugged in and I'm going to press the light button and it is actually lighting the uh, it's lighting inside the enclosure. I'm going to hit the stop button. It does stop. And if I hit the parameter button, it loads the parameter screen. If I hit the stop escape button, it, it goes away. So it's really straightforward. Um, it, it, de it definitely disconnects you from the keyboard. And again, it does liberate you from having to have that keyboard close at hand. I do like having that really close to the enclosure where I can just press quick buttons to be able to really get at what I need to do. That's basically it. I'll go ahead and shoot some video of the unboxing and uh, some of the features of the, of the keypad and hopefully it will answer any of the questions you have. I'll put over a keyboard that I had mentioned. It's a relatively simple keypad. It's USB. It plugs straight into the USB dock on my computer. It also has dual USB ports. So if you wanted to plug a memory stick into that to do quick data transfer, you could. Um, the beautiful thing about this particular keypad is it does allow me to take the keypad and get close to my enclosure if I need to and be able to, uh, you know, start, stop, light and burn, whatever I want to do. I printed these particular, I printed these particular inserts using my my laser. They are 12 millimeter by 12 millimeter square and it comes with a little cap remover and all you do is just slide this in. You can pop the cap off and then just put your little sticker inside or your little uh, your little cutout inside and you have customized uh, stickers or customized buttons. The, but the mode button I had talked about in the setup, uh, so when, when this is in the green mode you can only program the top four buttons, but if I press this button here, it turns red. And then now all of these keys are programmable with exception of the enter button will always be the enter button. So I could, if I wanted to create hotkeys on any of the numeric keypads, I like the numeric keypad the way it is. I think it, uh, I think it does uh, great for being able to enter values in without having, if you've got a keyboard like I do, my wireless keyboard does not have a uh, numeric keypad, so I do like having the numeric keypad as an option, um, and that gives me the ability to just be able to rapidly enter in values if I need to, um, without having to worry about worrying about typing across the top. Um, I'm used to 10 key anyway, so this is the Elsra numeric keypad. Uh, programmable. I really do like it. It comes with a nice manual. Um, there are several features of this particular keypad. Um, I'll put some of that in the description below and also a link where you can pick one up. I think I gave $40 for it and this has probably been one of the neatest little add-ons to my laser that I've been able to find aside from the DRO. So I hope you like it and as always have a great day.